Most of the time you use cilantro as a garnish. But today I'm going to show you how to make a dish for which the base is cilantro. Stay tuned to see how it turns out. kitchen. Today I'm going to show you how to make Qariya Mahi, a fish stew that includes cilantro and I mean a lot of cilantro and tamarind, which brings a nice tanginess to the stew. This hearty stew comes from the southern part of Iran and the taste is unique to the region. While pomegranate is commonly used to bring tanginess in the northern part of Iran, tamarind is more common in the south. This is also one of the few Persian dishes that's spicy and that's because the southern part of Iran is more known for having spicy dishes. Though herbs play a starring role in many Persian cuisines, Persian cuisine is not usually heavily spiced or spicy. While the combination of ingredients in this delicious stew brings both spiciness and sourness, you can adjust the flavor according to your palate. First, I'm going to marinate the fish. To make fish stew, you should use types of fish that are steak-like, such as tuna, salmon, and cod, because you want the fish not to fall apart easily. In Iran, they use meaty local fishes that are not available elsewhere. For this recipe, I'm going to use half a pound of salmon, cut in matchbox sizes like this. I'm adding half a teaspoon each of salt, turmeric, and black pepper. Mix them well together. Put all pieces of the fish with the spice mixture on all sides. You can use your hands or a brush to cover all the pieces. You don't need to overdo it. We just want the fish to get some flavor. Cover it and let it rest overnight in the fridge. If you are in a rush, you can marinate it for about an hour. I'm chopping about half a pound of cilantro finely. It looks like a lot, but when it's cooked, the cilantro will shrink drastically. The aroma from this cilantro is wonderful. As you're chopping, it's always a good idea to tell your kids to play somewhere else, so you can focus on what you are doing and not cut off a fingertip. Perhaps your husband as well, if he gets in the way. Safety first. We need about a cup of tamarind sauce. I'm using 100 grams of tamarind pulp from which to extract the sauce. If you're using tamarind paste, use half a cup. I'm going to soak the tamarind in a cup of hot water for about 20 minutes to separate the seeds and skins. If you prefer your stew to be either more or less tangy, you can increase or decrease the amount of tamarind sauce you use. Now the tamarind is loosening up, use a fine mesh strainer to get rid of the seeds and other clumps. If you use tamarind paste, you can skip this step because the seeds and skins are already separated. Look at the tamarind sauce. It's ready. Set it aside. Now dice a large onion. For this recipe, I'm using a whole garlic knob because it adds a lot to the flavor. If you are not a big fan of garlic, you can just use four to five cloves. But to be honest, using lots of garlic is part of what makes this dish so special. When I make this dish for my family, I actually use two knobs of garlic because I love it so much in this dish. Clearly, Dracula will not be visiting our home anytime soon. I'm soaking about 2 tablespoons of dry snake grape in warm water for about 15 minutes. It's better to use fresh snake grape, but I was unable to get it this time. If you're using the fresh one, use the entire bunch, but either way, make sure you do include snake grape in this dish. Turn on the stove to medium heat. Add cooking oil. Add the onion and saute for about 4 to 5 minutes until the pieces are soft. It's time for garlic. I'm using one teaspoon each of turmeric, curry powder, chili powder, and salt. Give it a stir. 
To adjust the spices to your palate, you can add one tablespoon of chili powder to make it spicier. As I said, this dish should be spicy and sour, but you can decide how much kick you want it to have. Add about one teaspoon tomato paste. Stir it well. Set it aside. Turn on the stove to medium heat. Add cooking oil. Add the cilantro. I'm going to saute it for about 15 minutes. You are going to get rid of the excess juice. Some people like to stir fry the cilantro until it turns black. But I don't want to destroy the health benefits of cilantro by overcooking it. It's time for the finish grip. Of course, I drain the water before adding to the cilantro. Mix them well. The vegetable mixture is ready. Now we are going to add the onion and garlic mixture. Add the tamarind. Add about two cups of water. Let it simmer for about 20 minutes on low heat. Turn on another burner to medium heat. Add some cooking oil. Then our marinated fish. We are going to stir fry the fish for about 2 minutes. It's time to turn the pieces over. 2 more minutes on this side. When you see slight changes in the color like this, it means your fish is ready. Add the fish to the vegetable mixture and let it cook for another 20 minutes. While the stew is cooking, I'm going to prepare the rice. To have a perfect rice accompaniment, it's better to use jasmine rice and garnish it with some saffron. Our delicious fish stew is ready! I wish you could smell it! The scent from the fenugreek and cilantro is amazing! This stew is an amazing means to add lots of veggies to your diet and everyone in your family should enjoy it. If you need to adjust the spiciness or tanginess to the palate, just add or reduce the tamarind and chili powder as you like or consider adding cayenne pepper if you like it really hot. If you like this video, don't forget to give us a thumbs up, subscribe and tell your family and friends about my channel. And if you have any favorite dish that you would like us to feature on the channel, please leave a comment down below. I hope you enjoy it. Bon appétit! Thank you.